Hi guys, and uh, thank you so much for watching as always. It's me. Um, it's been a long time. A uh, very long time. Um, this is going to be one in, well, a kind of like two in one sort of video. Um, this is obviously what I'm playing at the moment. I'm playing a bit of Fallout 4, as everyone does. Um, that's something I've been building in the background. So basically, I've been away because of everything that happened. If you've not been following, I'll give you the clip note or the cliff notes. Uh, basically, I moved to Malta. Everything went really bad, and I've now sorted myself out. I've now got my own apartment. I say we are sharing with a couple of people, um, but I've got my own space. Got most of my gear back now, and things are getting better. I've got a full-time job. I need these actually because these can get you, um, I've been in there, don't start shouting at the screen, um, they can get you adhesive, and it's very, a big thing to get. So, um, yeah, so I'm kind of back gaming sort of thing, and hoping to start recording again, um, but we'll see what happens. So I'll give you a quick tour of what I'm doing in Fallout 4 anyway, this is as much for my friend, that I wanted to show him what I've been doing. Um, so basically, I've been walling off, this is my new thing that I'm doing at the moment, I'm just walling off the, the entire area. Um, obviously this part's not been done yet, but I've walled off pretty much the other side. So this is the main entrance. Dun, dun, dun. So there's a, there is a guy assigned to this, and he should be assigned to it. He's wandering around. He's never in there, but he should be assigned to this. I'll find him later and give him a kick in. Um, and basically I've built all this stuff down the side here. Um, this is not the prettiest walling in. If you played Fallout 4 then you'll know that it's not the easiest thing to do to actually wall yourself in unless you're doing straight lines and stuff like that. Um, so I mean things like that. But to get it to fit you have to do it sadly. Um, but pretty much this whole side has been walled off. With a few turrets added in. These are the heavy turrets so these are the harder ones. And there's another one. I had to do some little bits in corners because sometimes you could just jump through. But I don't think NPCs, this is an example. But I don't think NPCs could actually manage to do it, so I don't worry about it that much. And then we come around to this side. Another turret. All walled in again. And then we come around to where the main base is. Let's have a look see. So yeah, so this is the kind of main area. Um, I'm gonna have to run through water for a second. Meow. Say out the rats. Yeah, that's not too bad. Hello. So this is the main base. This is the next bit I've got a while off. Um, yeah, not sure how exactly I'm gonna do that. I'll go through to the main base. But yeah, so hopefully uh, I'm going to start doing some more videos again. Um, probably do some Fallout 4 videos, um, some Elite Dangerous videos I'd like to do, um, and such. Um, this room here that I built, I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to use it for yet. I'm probably going to use it like a sort of workshop. I've not built my own um, house yet. I'm not deciding where to build it. I might build my house on this. My own little personal space. This is just basically an entrance. Um, yeah. So as you come over the bridge, obviously, you greet it with this. And you can walk in here, come up the stairs on this side here. Nice job with those defenses. Thank you. I've got nothing else I need right now. I think Preston may want to chat. Oh, shut up. Um, and so again, I've not done anything really. I've just filled out these areas. Um, just popped a few things around. Again, this, just nothing really. I put a guard post here. There is, Sturgis is supposed to be stood here. I assigned him to this, but I don't know. Nobody seems to do what I asked them to do. Up on the top here, we've got the old um, the windmill, sort of, right there. The power generator. Um, which is not do well, this is powering the lights downstairs at the moment. Um, but could be useful for stuff. 
So in this room here, we've got um, a few beds, just so people can come in. Um, I changed up a little bit in here, just left these open so people could take pot shots out of people. Like if people were attacking, then maybe you could take pot shots out. I don't know. And then you come to the top here, this is the main viewing area. So again, we get a bit of a view, we can take shots at people if they're going to attack the base. Which they do do in this game, you do get raiders attacking. Um, but you get a nice view of the area as well and can see what's going on with all your people, with all your settlers and stuff. And then I've got another floor above, which has just got... Which has just got um, a power generator at the top there and it's got the beacon to get people to come. Um, how many people have got actually at the moment? Let me just go into a uh, grave. It's seven people here at the moment. Two is ten, war is nine, power is eight, defence is fifty-three, which is ridiculous. This is why I'm not being attacked, because it's too ridiculous. My defence is so huge compared to how much food and water I've got. Uh, Thirteen beds, happiness is sixty-two. So yeah, I'm happy. But this is a work in progress. Um, you know, this is what Fallout 4 is all about when you're building stuff. Uh, levels wise, um, one second. I'm level 11, um, I'm not done that much game wise in the sense of like doing missions and stuff. Let's have a look. Um, quests are like fire support. These are, these are the very early ones. I've just spent most of my time building and dotting around, doing little bits here and there, clearing out a few areas. But look, I've done nothing. I've done nothing at all. And no cheats or anything, literally just me peeing around, going around the wilderness, killing the odd thing here and there. Um, but yeah, it's been fun. So yeah, so I just wanted to let you know, um, I'm going to upload this to YouTube, and then hopefully um, I can start my YouTube um, channel back up again. Well, it's never gone down really, but I just wanted to kind of say hello. And yes, things are going better in Malta. I will have some more Living in Malta videos, because summer's coming, and I will be going to a few big-ass parties. So, hopefully, I'll get some nice video for that one. For that one. Get some nice video for that oh, The reason why all this stuff's here is because I moved it out of that area, and I've just not had time to move it all back to somewhere else. Um, these are my three armors, uh, power armors, by the way. That one's just a shell. It's not even got a helmet. That one's filled with military colour, so it hold that like, I can carry more, and that's the um, the XO one, um, which has got no mods or anything. But yeah, so this is where I'm at. Um, I'm not sure. I mean, if you want to see more Fallout stuff, I can do some missions and stuff on camera. Doesn't really bother me that much. I'll record them anyway, and then if you want to see them, I'll show them. Um, I'll show some building videos because um, I've nowhere near finished yet. Um, got a lot to do. Um, these need some turrets and spotlights on. I'm going to start. I need to start. Let well, basically put some electric down this end because there's nothing at this end at the moment. Um, I need to turn that into something. And there's the other spot over there which I might turn into my house. I'm not sure yet, but we'll see. But yeah, so um, I'll leave this video here just to say hello, and hopefully I'll um, be doing some more videos. Yeah, so thank you so much, for watching as always. Uh, please feel free to rate, comment, subscribe. And I will catch you on the next video, guys. So take care of each other. And goodbye. Dog meat.